What is up people, this is why I search you and in this video I'll be talking about the WS2812B LEDs which are popularly known as NeoPixel LEDs. And now these are individually addressable LEDs and since they are RGB they have three individual LEDs in them one's red, one's green and one's blue and these LEDs they operate on 5 volts and need only one data pin so let's get started now for this one what you'll need is a NeoPixel LED or they are known as WS2812B or WS2813 LEDs the 12Bs are the older versions and WS2813s are the newer versions the difference is that the newer versions have a pass-through in which even if an LED in the in the strip fails, it does not affect the other LEDs. So, for this we'll be using an ESP32 and Harletgo was gracious enough to provide me with this lamp pad which has 16 NeoPixel LEDs. Now if you look behind it, it has two grounds, one VCC and one input. Now what you need to do is you need to solder on a male headers on them and then just connect them to your microcontroller. This is the wiring schematic that I used on mine. And for this, we'll still be using the Arduino IDE. So let's open it and let's look at the code. So first of all, you'll need a library to run them. And the library of my choice was fast LED. So let's install it. Let's go to the library manager and then just search for fast LED. It's this one, fast LED by Daniel Garcia. Just install it and then it will already be in the examples, but I'll still link this code down in the description so you can easily use it. And what I've written up over here is the number of LEDs. So the, the, the number of LEDs are 16. The data pin is number 13, which is which is GPIO 13 on the ESP32. I, J, and K are variables. C, R, G, B, LEDs, and the number of LEDs that are there. And then I just give it a delay of 2000 just in case. And then we just add the LEDs. So since our LEDs are the WS2812Bs, we just add it in over here since there are a lot of other LEDs as well from different manufacturers and different versions. Then we just set the data, uh, the data pin. And since these are RGB LEDs, we just have in GRB, the LEDs and the number of LEDs. Then we just set the brightness to 10 because these LEDs are bright, like they're gonna burn your eyes off bright. Then we just go to the loop and over here what I wrote is a simple for loop for red, green and blue. So what happens over here is it just defines it for each LED. So from LED 0 to LED 15 since all the numbers start from 0 and then fast LED dot show would send that data to the LED pad and it would be displayed. If you look at this demo, It's going to show the output of this one. Now, since these are individually controllable, you can set the brightness at whatever you want. You could even use potentiometers or some other user input to, to manually change them. And that's about it. These LEDs aren't that hard to find. And these days, they are getting much, much cheaper. And these LEDs are available in a number of packages. You can buy them individually. You can buy them in the pad format, which I have. You can buy them in strips, which are really common these days because everybody wants to RGBify their life. And on the LED strips, they are available in like 30 LEDs per meter, 60 LEDs per meter, and 144 LEDs per meter. And they all are gonna work in the same way. You can look on Instructables and Hackster.io and Hackaday.io and GitHub for like other LED projects that people have made. 
So thank you for watching this video. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. And see you next time.